So start by going to codepen.io, um, not to be mistaken with codepen.com, that's a bit different. Um, you'll know codepen.io because, well, here's their logo and they'll have examples right at the beginning. Maybe by the time you get this, the actual um, interface may change slightly, but essentially what you're looking for is this website that allows you to sandbox your uh, code and preview it right in the browser. And what I mean is if I click on any one of these projects over here, um, here's the sandbox so to say is that we have the raw code up at the top or you know you have some options over here on how you may want to arrange it for yourself. And down below is the rendered HTML. So we have the HTML, well, it's the rendered HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, and CodePen is just a great place to sort of play around with different stuff. Now, you don't have to create an account to um, utilize CodePen or save uh, pens, but it's if you create an account for yourself and you find yourself using CodePen often and saving it, at the very least you're going to end up with a profile that has all your pens listed there from before. So um, let's start this way. We'll go to CodePen and I'm going to create a new pen. And the pen's going to be very basic. It's going to be an about page. So first order of business is let's start with the H1 tag. Now as you can see I have to open and then h1 and close the h1 um, actually the h1 elements not actually closed yet but just make sure you get those brackets correct and then the page is going to be called about me um, now I want to actually close that header element like so and I have a about me header uh, header one its uh, relevance is that the H1 should describe the entire page. So that's sort of like um, what this page is all about. It's semantically, it has the most worth. So um, there's other H elements. There's H2, H3, H, keep on going. Um, but you want to reserve the H1 to be unique and sort of encompass everything that's happening on the page. The next thing I'm going to do is insert an image. And if I start by going same way, I open the image, then I close it, um, I end up with an image element. This image element doesn't have anything in there, so um, I need to populate it with an actual image. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to do a Google image search. So I could even start by images, and then I'll go, um, you know, often people say, hey, you know, uh, you look a lot like Rambo. Um, probably because I work out and I'm always walking around with my shirt off and a machine gun. So, you know, I, I think I take it as a compliment. So that would be a good description of me. Let me uh, find an image that suits my uh, very uh, athletic personality over here. <laughs> uh, well, let's, let's start by actually uh, really refining our search to something that'll be nothing larger than medium and here you go this is this is basically me on the weekends over here so uh, I'm gonna click on the image and the first thing to note is that uh, when we click on this image and we see it over here we have a big long URL that has a lot of stuff going on over here now this is part of Google's image proxy engine thing uh, actually wait a second look Maybe, yeah, that's definitely more more up my speed over there. <laughs> um, this is all part of Google's image search, and this is within their system, and this is not actually a image that we can actually link to at this point. So uh, what I'm going to do now is actually, when I find the image that I like, I want to click in here to view image. And now I'm going to see a, more than likely a shorter URL that at the end should have an image extension on there, whether it's a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF, whatever it may be. This is definitely more um, appropriate. Well, this is the actual direct link to the image. The other one won't work. And maybe that doesn't make sense right now, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this image and I'm going to copy it into my clipboard. Now I'll go back to CodePen and this is where we're actually going to give our image HTML element uh, a source image which is going to be that URL that we have. Um, so I go here and I have to put a image attribute in there. 
So before the image gets closed right over here, uh, I'm going to do SRC equals and then two double quotes. Now it's inside of these double quotes and I'm going to paste that image URL and I'll do just that. I'll go paste and I want to make sure it's in there and look at that. Voila. Now we have the image in our HTML. Awesome. So um, easy enough. Let's go on to the next thing, which is going to be a paragraph text. Now, paragraph, like all HTML elements, is formatted like that, but you put the P inside of there. And then just to be safe, we could close it before we add our text. And now let's add a little blurb about ourselves. Um, hi, my name is Dragos Bogdan, and I am a web developer. Uh, my current skills include, but are not limited to, um, we'll say HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. Great. So let's do this. Now that we have the code here, let's see if we scroll down a little bit, maybe even adjust this window, we see that we have our content in here. Um, let's add a little HTML to this, a little, uh, actually let's add some links to it rather. So, hi, my name is Dragos Bogdan. Great. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me find something that references me. Um, I will do my LinkedIn page. So here we go. Here's my LinkedIn page. I'm going to copy that link right over here. Again, uh, I just copied it real quick this way. I don't ever want to have to type out URLs um, or links rather, you know, because um, you're just, it's so easy to screw something up, to miss a forward slash, to miss some nuance of something um, that you always want to be copying and pasting that kind of stuff. Actually, in general, the deeper you get into coding, when you actually have a lot of stuff that you're pre-building, because you'll end up repeating, like from project to project, you end up repeating yourself a lot. Um, copy and paste, copy and paste all day long, you know, with little code, because that's when all the errors start happening, because, you know, we're human. So let me go back to my code pen, and let's add a link. So, hi, my name is Dragos Bogdan. Links happen with the anchor tag. So I'll start with the anchor tag, and I'll nest it around my name, like so. And here we go. Let's see what happened. Well, nothing happened. Um, similar to images and source, we need to add an attribute to um, our anchor in order to make it do anything. And that uh, attribute is href, hypertext reference, like what link are you referencing? And you'll do the equals, one equals, and then let's say double quote, double quote. And what we do in here is now all of a sudden you see that this has something going on. Oftentimes people use actually the hash over here to um, basically indicate that it's a link, but this is a placeholder. We don't have the link ready yet. So if you're mocking something up, uh, mocking something up, meaning you're just sort of putting something together as a demo or a wireframe, um, and you don't have all the assets and links that you need for the project, uh, linking it with an href is just fine. But we do. We do have what we need. So I could remove that. And of course, I'll just copy and paste it. I, You know, I... I'll right click and do paste more so for the videos, but in reality when I'm working I'm copying and pasting with my keyboard because that just makes things faster. So here we go, we have, um, now we have a link to this and even in CodePen when we do it, you click Dragos Bogdan, oh, you know I think LinkedIn is one of those ones that doesn't work, let's see, um, eh, that's for just for giggles, let's go to Google. And here we go, we got Google. I'll copy that and paste it just to show you that it works. Um, here we go. So, um, huh, I wonder. Eh, you know what, it's interesting. You may notice that some links don't work. 
little bit frustrating. Maybe if we take the HTTPS out of there, it'll work. Eh, let's not get caught up in all the details. Um, that is the way it works. Sometimes with CodePen it works. Let's see if I do Dragos Bogdan. Let's find, ah, let's find my YouTube channel. Here we go. This one may work a little bit better. Um, you know, I, I'm actually happy we ran into this error for the video because I don't want you to think that if you did this exact reference and it didn't work, um, is it your code or is it code pen? Now let's see, is this going to work? Very odd, very odd that it's not working. I know that I've had it work in other places. Here we go, dragosbogdan.net. Not much here. There we do it. And now, ah, look at that. Alas, um, cool. So now you know that this indeed works for you, um, that you have the right syntax. You know, just experiment with different URLs. Why some work and some don't, you know, I, I don't know. That's kind of interesting that, that some would do it and some wouldn't. And actually, you know, we could even link to the Rambo if we wanted to, I suspect. Let's see. And look, and now it's just the image there alone. Cool. And there you have it.